Good afternoon friends and welcome to my channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming where you can see great games played badly. I'm John and this is Founder's Fortune from Dionic. This is a frankly uh, delightful little fantasy village building sim. Um, it got a full release on Steam back in December 2020. Uh, I had it on early access from late 2019, I think. Um, I dabbled a bit, but never really uh, gave it a, a full playthrough. Um, I certainly haven't had a go really with it since um, the the proper release. So let's let's dive in and see what we get. So we we'll go for a let's go for a large world um, and. Difficulty level, level, I think, will keep it on exciting. So that means that some of the um, villagers will be a bit more hostile. Um, they may attack or they may demand stuff from us. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. Um, in advanced settings, we don't want peaceful pirates. We don't want peaceful goblins. Uh, we want mixed biomes. Uh, some villages. Yeah, let's stick with some, uh, but I am going to turn aging off um, because it is a pain when your colonists start dying out of old age. Um, you use a lot of space burying them all. Anyway, we will dive in. Who have we got? Ooh, that's a bad start. Dumb is not a good personality trait to have. They do not gain experience, and it costs a lot to get rid of it. Um, so, Patrick, I'm sorry you are not coming on this particular trip. A vegetarian xenophile. Okay, so we have a, a bit of a hippie. He's a craftsman with forging, which is quite an expensive uh, uh, later skill to, to get. Um, not a lot of use in the short term, but you're not bad, we'll see. Uh, Frederica, a xenophile, diplomat, with a favourite food but no professional skills to speak of, that's not ideal. Um, I'd rather have someone with some skills. Uh, a forester, that's quite useful, and already has the ability to plant apple trees, that's very useful. Uh, hates winter, not too much of a problem. We should be able to get rid of that. And an optimist, so always gets a permanent boost to her mood. She's good. Okay, Janine, you're in. Yeah, we'll go with uh, Janine and Benjamin. Let's go. Let's see what kind of island we get. So this is a, a lovely, lovely game. Uh, the building system in it is simple um, but effective. Uh, let's pause that. And the graphics uh, style is simple but cute. Uh, I really like it. It's that sort of cartoony aesthetic that I can really get behind. Okay, what have we got? We've got a village up here. Uh, we've got some sheep. Um... Oh, we've got pigs over here. That's good. Crystal, stone, and iron. Uh, got some cotton over here as well. Lots more crystal and stone. And sheep over here. That's good. Oh, we had lots of resources here. Um, no apple trees that I can see. Although, I do have someone who already knows how to plant them. So that's not terrible. Oh, there's some over here. Um, so as long as I can stay on decent relations with this village. Okay. They already don't like me. That's... That's a problem. Um, okay. Well, we'll just have to deal with that. I'm not sure what this little ring in the ground here is. Some kind of fairy ring, maybe. Who knows? Okay, let's get started. We need a bonfire. So, tell you what, let's put that in the middle of that ring there. And we'll pop uh, a basket for raw food 
in front of it. Uh, so this is the um, items menu uh, for building. You can see most of it at the moment is locked because I haven't researched it. Um, the build menu for buildings is here. Now we'll get into this a bit more uh, in a minute when I start properly building. Uh, but for the moment, we just want to pop down a very simple, um, make it reasonably large because we are going to want to uh, use it later on. Uh, and we have a little bit of wood to start with, hopefully enough to, to finish this. And we'll pop a door on there. Okay. So the walls. This is the, uh, I haven't got any mods or anything running. This is the total amount of wall types that you get in the entire game. So all of your buildings have to be constructed out of these walls. So there isn't a lot of choice. You can mix and match, obviously. Um, and you can make each house a bit different. Uh, and there are um, decorative bits that you can add on and add in uh, to personalize them a bit. But the basic selection is limited. That said, that's probably my only real criticism about the game. So, the user interface. Our menu's up at the top. This is our weapons, armor, and tools and things. Uh, we don't have any at the moment, but this is where it'll be displayed. Uh, any special items we have will go in there. Then we've got raw food and cooked food. Uh, raw food is basically stuff you grow or get from animals. Um, cooked food is stuff that is prepared on a campfire or later on in uh, a proper kitchen or bakery. Then you've got wood, stone, iron ore, or basic materials. Healing plants. Healing plants are used to make illness medicines and healing potions uh, once you get a doctor uh, high enough level and with the right research. Now apparently they grow in the wild. I have never been able to find them. Whether that's because they don't grow in the wild or because I just can't find them, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I cannot ever find them in the wild. So we are restricted on those uh, until we can get a doctor to the right level. Uh, next up, we've got textiles. So that's your cotton and your wool and your cloth. Uh, you need a lot of that. Uh, every profession has its own clothing. Um, a lot of uh, furniture and decorative items later on that your colonists will want. Uh, require cloth. Uh, so yeah, that's an important one to work on. Next we've got scrolls, uh, sorry, next we've got crystals, uh, which are again mined here. Uh, you need those for research. Next is scrolls, you need those for research, but they're a later um, edition. Um, and you can only get those by trading with the Traders Guild. You can't make them or get them from any other source. So it's a good idea to keep the Traders Guild on the side um, and coming to your uh, uh, colony fairly regularly. And it's a good idea to have some stockpiles of things that you can sell to them in order to buy the scrolls, which are not cheap. Uh, next is money. Again, trade is pretty much the only way um, we can get money. And then beer is a, a useful late stage or mid mid game uh, resource uh, that is good for a temporary boost to people's mood and you can use it to throw parties which is a big boost uh, combat mode once you've got armor and weapons you can click that and your uh, colonists will tool up and get ready for a fight uh, diplomacy screen when we've actually you know got a village set up and met people we'll be able to contact other tribes contact the pirates contact the uh, traders guild um, give them presents or threaten them if we want to. Then we've got our calendar. So we're starting off in 
spring of year one uh, speed controls and then the research so you can see the research tree is not enormous it's not huge um, but there's quite a lot on there and it does take quite a while to actually uh, work through research especially when you start getting up into uh, using the scrolls here um, and one note on that you can see uh, 20 scrolls or 40 scrolls here for the the last tech I've never seen a ship come in with more than 10 or 11 scrolls on it um, so it and they turn up twice a year maybe so it's worth having a lot of storage space as soon as you can and getting scrolls when you can uh, so you have a big stockpile of them otherwise it is just going to take you forever um, to ever research anything uh, especially in the late game uh, then you've got your quest log obviously we don't have any quests at the moment uh, and then your uh, help so let's get started on building things which you need building the house and then we'll start Benjamin off building the bonfire and then he'll move on hopefully to the house there we go now what we need straight away in the house are sleeping bags uh, and I'll put three in because we're hopefully going to get another colonist fairly soon um, and how that works is the bonfire attracts colonists but only when our current colonists expectations are met and that's shown by this little um, tree symbol I'm not sure what it is but if it's yellow it means their expectations aren't met so here we can see their expectations and their wishes so he expects a sleeping spot which he's about to get uh, she does sorry uh, Benjamin also expects a sleeping spot which again he's about to get now wishes are short-term things that give satisfaction points these are used to as I say buy off these traits now I'm sorry if I repeat myself but I'm a little bit concerned because this is the third time I've recorded this and it's messed up each time so I'm not entirely sure what I have said and haven't so once this is built which we need to speed up to get it done uh, and they get their sleeping spots you'll see the expectation is filled this will turn green and hopefully uh, more migrants will be attracted to our colony see he's just there leveled up or got some reward points come on construct construct stop talking and construct thank you and you take ownership of that one there we go they now have a bed to sleep in so wishes they want a table or a loom and Benjamin wants to be buddies and get a loom so first thing we want to build is a research stand because once we get a research stand we get some crystals in we can start researching farming which is the first thing we are going to want to go for because that will give us access to growing our own food which is going to be essential for our survival okay come on wake up you don't need that much sleep there we go okay so no don't tell silly jokes go and gather crystal and you can come and cut us some wood but since we don't have any tools at the moment you'll see that they actually have to kick the trees in order to get wood out of them and if we go over here the same goes for the crystal they have to kick it in order to get anything out of it so there we go we've got some wood you can come and build that and then 
let's have a look at your professional tree. You're a craftsman, which isn't a lot of use at the moment. So we'll make you... Do we want to make you our scholar? Yes, because we want to make you our forester. There we go. He can be our scholar and our craftsman. And Janine is going to be our forester. So let me have a look. Okay, so once I get farming as a technology researched, farming as a technology researched, excuse me, uh, I'll be able to plant my own apple trees because Janine already knows how to do that. Which is very useful. That'll be another source of food coming in. Okay, so let's fast forward again, make sure we've got enough crystals to uh, research. Uh, since they're both happy, we've got Oh, just under five minutes until our next migrant might arrive. In the meantime, we'll carry on researching. Come on. Hmm. So just looking around, we do have some pigs over here which we can uh, tame soon enough. Um, and there are some sheep down here, which we can also tame, and they will give us wool, obviously, which we can turn into cloth, which means we don't have to rely so heavily on cotton. Okay. You have now got enough of that. You can start getting this wood, and we've got farming. Excellent stuff. Okay. So, we want to build uh, a farm. Where am I going to put the farm? Uh, yes, yeah, so let's put the farm out here, so we've got plenty of room to expand later. So we'll put some fields for tomatoes in here. Um, do do two rows? Let's do three rows. Let's do three rows. There we go. Uh, and we'll also put in some potatoes over here. And you can tell at the moment that I'm really not worried about how things look because I can always demolish it later. Um, in fact, you can both come over and start constructing those fields. And that will start us some food coming. So these plants only grow in certain um, seasons. Oh look, our migrant has arrived. So let's pause it. Um, so tomatoes only grow in uh, spring and summer. Uh, potatoes only grow in summer and autumn. Sorry, fall. Summer and fall. So, our new migrant. I, I don't care about traits at the moment. I just want people on the island. So, Janine, come and say hello to whoever this is. And Benjamin can keep building our fields and then Simone what are you let's give you a bed first of all okay so Simone you have no skills at all you are a blank slate Okay then, uh, I don't know why I closed that. We want to make you our farmer. Um, what traits do you have? Insomnia. Uh, not ideal. Okay, not too bad. So you should be able to start planting some tomatoes. Now, we need more research going on. So let's get woodworking, because woodworking gives us access to the carpenter's workshop uh, and the tool rack, so we can start making tools and making people's jobs slightly easier. So we can give Janine an axe for a start, so she doesn't have to keep kicking trees. Poor woman. In fact, let's give her a break. Let's let's make her an analyze 
No, let's make it go to bed, and then we can analyze the crystal. There we go. Okay, so Simone is planting. That's good. She'll probably go to bed in a minute. Oh, no, she's okay. She'll be all right for a while. Good on you, Simone. But you are going to spend longer in bed when you get there, aren't you? Yeah. Insomnia. I feel you, girl. I really do. But now that we have farming up, we have beds for everyone. We have not met expectations because now there's another person. Let's have a look at this. This has opened up the uh, additional um, satisfaction box, the expectations box. Uh, so she needs to be satisfied, uh, uh, as does she, as does Benjamin. So, um, so discovering writing will uh, give her a hundred points. That'll be good. We'll do that after. Mm, will we? We'll see. Uh, but we can build a loom, so let's do that. If I can figure out where it is. There it is. So let's put a loom in over there. And Benjamin, what are you doing? You're still building. Okay, Simone, when you wake up, can you build that? Or you could just wake up and build it now. That's good too. And then you can... So tomatoes. So there you go. Janine and Benjamin have just got um, satisfaction. Benjamin has leveled up. But there's not really anything we want to do with that, I don't think. We'll save up our points for the moment. Unless we want them to stop being a vegetarian. Force feed a mistake. That would be cruel, wouldn't it? No, we couldn't do that. Okay, but we will leave it there for this episode. I hope you've uh, enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, please leave us a like. Uh, leave us a comment if you've got any suggestions. Um, polite ones, preferably. And I will see you in the next episode. Thanks very much. Goodbye.